Alright, well, let's see if we can uh, get this uh, filmed out here between uh, rains. It gets pretty loud in the shop when it's raining. Well, mechanically, I think stage one is done. Uh, stage two will be to add the um, uh, a wash machine. Uh, pneumatic or electric valves uh, to control basically where the flow fluent is cooling uh, where the coolant is flowing and that'll be flood uh, mist or stream and by flood I mean like bed flooding to actually do a bed rinse and stuff uh, so I'll make sure that we can get as good a get a good a view on this as, as possible to show how I have this set up and and I probably would do this a little bit differently um, if I had a little bit bigger table I would put this five gallon bucket into uh, another larger container like the um, like this container you see here in the background and uh, and I, I may wear it very well do that. Nothing is set in stone, but we'll see. Because this isn't gonna this setup isn't gonna hold a ton of coolant for one thing. But my table doesn't have a whole lot of room to hold a ton of coolant. So So this is what we got here. And I can pull this out out of there. So this is the trap bucket and of course I'll have to pull my two screws off here and this is the this lid is uh, nothing more than um, keeping the coolant that's flowing in from the uh, shop vac type uh, deal from from getting into the uh, bucket itself and I don't have the filter screen on there, and I'll go ahead and get that put on and get this all put back together as soon as I get this uh, taken off. So, this is the bucket itself. The styrofoam is won't allow it to float because there's not really enough height in here to allow it to float. But this is just sits inside the bucket. Uh, the half inch tubing slips inside of this relatively easily. Um, enough that it won't come out on its own. And it's fairly stiff in there. And then this whole assembly just uh, sits down inside. And I was going to use these... Uh, the handle that's that's on the bucket and you can see how I have that cut and slotted out uh, but there just won't be basically just to make it uh, less messy lifting everything up and out uh, but that ain't gonna work out so went ahead and put these two retaining screws in and they they do what they're supposed to do basically just hold it in place they don't really grab the styrofoam too much and if I need them too, then I'll put some put some type of wood insert in the styrofoam. And go ahead and tighten these up real quick. Like I said, it fits in there fairly fairly decently. This just sits on top here. Clips on. And there you have it. Um, and then on the underside here, you see this going up to, to there and I got a steel band clamp on there. Um, and you wouldn't you know if the rain came. And then this uh, clear tubing is going into the 12 volt pump, and 12 volt pump runs up, and the, and the fluid will come basically to here, 
and then I'll have a, a dividing block and obviously I'll have more than more than one tube uh, for multiple coolant setups obviously um, so yeah that's uh, that is a coolant setup so far uh, so like I said if I were to put this five gallon bucket in say something something like this and, and I, like I said I very well may may do this um, but I would realistically just set the five gallon bucket in here and then about four inches up on the five gallon bucket I drill a bunch of holes around it oh man you forgot to you forgot to remind me to put that uh, filter styrofoam on the outside of the inside bucket anyway I'd uh, just drill a bunch of uh, holes a couple inches up from the, from the bottom of the bucket say about right here maybe even a little bit higher but that's that seems about right and they'd be smaller holes uh, smaller than what's in the blue bucket and that would act as a as a trap so to speak so that as the, the fluid flowed into the uh, five gallon bucket whatever large uh, objects or particles or what what have you could then drop to the bottom of the five gallon bucket and if the small holes are small enough and the and everything is at the right level then hopefully and the, the holes actually should be a little bit on the larger side not large large but uh, large enough to to compensate for the entire flow of the of the uh, pump, but not too large, and basically so then the whole f whole coolant tank would then be up past them holes enough that uh, that any floating scum would also stay in the five gallon bucket. So yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the general idea of the of the whole coolant setup, and I, th I think I probably I probably will end up changing this around here this uh, this afternoon. I'll probably end up cutting a hole. Probably end up cutting a hole in the tops of these guys here, these lids, and uh, and allowing this five gallon bucket just to sit uh, sit on the top of there if I can get that to work out all right. Um, that might be a little bit tricky, but I might, I might be able to do that. I might be able to do that. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you again. As always, make sure you subscribe, like, share, don't like. I don't care. Just make sure you tell me why. See ya.